Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathDuck.com. I'm here to do a quick overview on how to use our graphing teaching tool. When you first start the uh, graphing teaching tool, you'll see this page right here, but let me show you how you get here. Let me go ahead and switch, switch screens here. And if you uh, go to our site, on every page you'll see our main menu, our, actually our menu that looks like this. If you click on the teaching tools, it will take you to this page here. And if you click on this graphing uh, image, and it has graphing underneath it, it will take you to the page here that tells you, um, it shows you a picture of it, a uh, screenshot of the graphing tool, and also uh, you can click this video by um, clicking this link here, or if you want to go directly to the teaching tool, just click this here, and it will take you to the uh, teaching tool. Now the first section is uh, you'll have to answer using the keyboard um, the questions up here and it says how many bones did MathPup collect on Wednesday? You look over here on Wednesday go across that'd be seven. If I click seven should be correct and the next question how many did bones did MathPup collect on Saturday? It looks eight. Let's, that's eight. Let's go ahead and put in nine and it just shows that I got that wrong and at the end of this little section it will tell you how many you got right and how many you got wrong. Now the next, once you complete this uh, set of questions, you'll be taken to this one, this uh, little uh, section and it says the graph shows how many times Math Pup jumped each day. So the question it's asking now, it says which day did Math Pup jump the greatest number of times? And if I look over on the, on the chart it's obvious that he jumped six. Uh, Math Pup jumped 60 times on Saturday, and that's the uh, the day that he jumped the most. So let's go ahead and click on Saturday. That's all you got to do there. Go ahead and click it, and that's correct. And on which day did Math Pup not Math Pup not jump? And that's Tuesday. And so I'll go ahead and click Tuesday. And then uh, at the end of this section, you'll also get a rating on how many. It'll tell you how many uh, questions you got right. And um, then I'll take you to the next session, which looks like this. And this this is a little interactive, uh, more so than the other ones, because you actually have to draw the graph. It says make a bar chart showing how many times Math Pup shook hands in a day. And uh, it says drag the bars to show the number of times Math Pup sh Math Pup shook hands each day. So right here it's saying. On Sunday, he did it 50 times. He shook 50. So let's go ahead and drag. I'm clicking, dragging, and dropping there 50. And uh, actually, Monday 100. And you say I want to check my answers. I'm going to go ahead and say, well, I got that one. And actually, on Tuesday, 10. It's at 10. So that I got that one right, kind of as a bonus. But Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday are wrong because I haven't haven't put those in, but let's go ahead and correct those. So on Wednesday, there's 70. Thursday wants 100. Friday, I need to put in 50. Saturday, 80. And let's check it now. They all should be correct. And there we go. And uh, it tells me on each of the three activities how well I did and it shows me that that's the final score and uh, that's the end of this uh, particular teaching tool but uh, I just want to let you see how to use it and I hope the video helps some and I hope you're using it and be sure and uh, remember this is free to use online at home or in this classroom and uh, thanks for watching